Let's start off by focusing on the heels. A lot of folks teach to get that front heel down, but that causes all kinds of problems. You lose your stretch and you lose your coil too soon or prematurely. And I just don't think that's what great hitters do. Um, this is a really good video to demonstrate that. So you're gonna notice the back heel actually comes up prior to the front heel coming down, okay? I can stop it here and you can see both heels are actually in the air at this point. So that means the back one has come up prior to the front one getting down. And you want this rhythm right here. This is the rhythm we're looking for. There's a drill I do that just does this right here. We just teach this where we get the back heel to come up as the front one's coming down. Okay, we kind of turn it down as we say. So you can see the hips turning the front foot down here. Rotation into the front foot. That's what's happening here. Okay, so now as we look up top, you can see the hips are running in this direction. The barrel is on plane with the shoulders and he is going to send the barrel in this direction. So the way that I teach this, the language I use is I say the hips turn to the right and the barrel turns towards the plate or to the left. Like that. Okay. You see how open everything is here and how the barrel is shooting in this direction. Now you see how straight his arm is? People would call Griffey an arm bar guy. All that is, is when you get to the stretch position right here, you see all the stretch in his trunk? What's happened is the trunk is now turning into the bicep. It's rotating, okay? Everything is going in this direction. As that's happening, the front arm lengthens. That's how you delay rotation or create more stretch, whatever you wanna call it. If you keep the arm there and you don't tug on the knob, okay, when I say tug on the knob, what I mean is if you don't pull from the elbow right here and you don't pull or tug from the hands right here, then you'll have stretch 